Hello, I'm Harold Hung Tru Ko. I'm the legal advisor of the State Department and the former dean of Yale Law School. Uh, I wanted to send my thanks to everybody here at NACASEC for the award that you're giving me tonight and to explain why I couldn't be here. Uh, as you know, after my confirmation process, I have a formal swearing in. I had asked that this be done by Secretary Clinton. It turns out the day that it could be done is September 17th and my entire family is coming in from all over the world and tonight uh, there is a dinner uh, that my family is organizing with all of my relatives far and wide. Uh, as Koreans and Korean Americans I think you understand that there's one thing you don't do which is disappoint your mother and so as a result uh, I'm with her and uh, Nakasek was kind enough to say that I could participate in this wonderful event uh, through this medium. I want to thank uh, and congratulate Deepak uh, uh, Baragaya and Luis Gutierrez who are also receiving this award. It's a great honor for me to be honored with them. And I also wanted to thank Olivia Park and Julie Kiltru Lee uh, Kum uh, Kurumanda and Unsuk Lee for their work in setting up this conference. Um, this is a moment of deep significance for the Korean American community as reflected in the evening that you're gathered uh, uh, tonight. Um, we are well past 100 years of Korean immigration to the United States. In the early days, I think the focus of the community was on getting established in America. Uh, in the second phase, I think there was hope that we would be recognized as a distinctive member of the American mosaic. Uh, I remember when I was a boy growing up, Korea was virtually unknown in the United States. Many people didn't know where Korea was. They confused it with Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. Korean products were considered to be of low quality, and Korean Americans were virtually unknown. Today, that has changed. Uh, Korea is a economic power. Uh, it is a leader in the world of cyberspace. Uh, Korean American culture, is the envy of uh, East Asia and Korean Americans are playing a significant role in many parts of American life. I feel honored along with my family to be uh, at the old end of that spectrum. This year m both my brother Dr. Howard Kyung Ju Ko was confirmed as Assistant Secretary of Health and Human Services and I was confirmed for this position just in time for my mother's 80th birthday and my mother has everything so we thought that two confirmations of her sons would be uh, a good addition. Um, I will say this that the progressive work of NACASEC is so important because for the first time in the 21st century we are facing uh, a world which is defined not by a wall, the Berlin Wall, but a web, the World Wide Web. Koreans are now an established member of this community and they have been recognized. And the question now is what kind of service do we give? My own parents encouraged me and my brothers and sisters to get involved in public service. We came here during the era uh, of the immediate uh, Korean War period and then we grew up during the period of Vietnam and Watergate. We are now at a moment where we have a president, Barack Obama, for whom I'm fortunate to serve, who is someone who is a member of an Asian American family who actually grew up in Asia. I work for a Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, who has throughout her career represented the needs of those who have less. And those are the issues to which I think we should be committed. Issues of health care, immigration, education, civil rights, and the rule of law are all of extraordinary concern to not just every American but to every Korean American. It fits comfortably with the values we have long promoted. As you know, Koreans care deeply about the values of education. They care deeply about political participation. Let me close with this thought. As I receive your award, let me encourage you all to stand up, not just for politics, but for principle. Certain principles which are critical. This is Citizenship Mobilization Day. I remember profoundly how I felt on the day that my mother and my sister became American citizens. It is said that people who adopt a country 
love a country like a lover loves a lover, someone they've chosen, uh, not uh, someone who has been selected for them. They love it with a passion and with a taste for freedom and democracy that few others can enjoy. In my time as legal advisor, I've had many exciting experiences. I've traveled to Afghanistan, I've traveled to Moscow, but one of the most meaningful events for me personally was to return recently with former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright to the presidential funeral of President Kim Dae-jung, the Nobel Peace Prize winner. As I watched his funeral ceremony, it reminded me how far Korea has come in my own lifetime, that it has become a vibrant democracy, uh, that it is a country that uh, is uh, now a global player. Its citizens are recognized around the world and its commitments to the values of human rights and democracy are well known. Uh, as someone who is a lawyer, a uh, human rights professor, uh, an educator, uh, someone who has benefited from Americans' commitment to immigration, I accept your award tonight with gratitude and with hope that this group of individuals gathered for this three-day meeting carry forth in those important and uh, profoundly significant values and commitments that have characterized our community over the years. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you soon, and I will tell my family members tonight uh, of the honor I received and uh, how, for their sake, uh, I'm with them at dinner rather than with you. Thank you very much. Kamsamnida.